message and advice for you. Swamiji said, My faith lies is frightening you. No, not even the thunderbolts of heaven, but stand up and work hard. Men and men, these are rotten things. Everything else will be ready, but strong, vigorous, with this spirit of renunciation. It depends wholly on the young people of India. If you are in any sphere, Swamiji quotes, a relatable to every attribute of human life. Some of them are education. We want it is not possible for the bird to fly on only one wing. The greatest novelist, Roma Bula, said, I cannot touch the saying of his without receiving a thrill to my position, a great storyteller, a marvelous poet, an influential orator, a social reformer, and finally, a great source of inspiration to all of us. Therefore, let us all understand that Swamiji's code and life teachings deeply and implement them in our day-to-day -day life. Jai Vivekananda! Awaken the minds of you. They instill self-confidence and courage in the youth to face the problems of life and provide a roadmap to modern generations, enabling them to live a righteous and moral life. Today, since we are all students, let us begin by listening to what Swamiji says about education. Swamiji exhort, education is a manifestation of perfection already in man. To me, the very essence of education is the concentration of mind. The more concentrated it is the power is brought to bear on one point. That is the secret. What we want is that education by which character is built, strength of mind is increased, intellect is expanded, and by which one can stand on one's own feet. Do you know what makes the difference between person times if you fail a thousand times Make the attempt once more. Take a wild idea. Make that idea your life. Think of it. Dream of it. And live on that idea. Let your brain, muscles, nerves, and every part of the body be full of that idea. And just make every other idea alone. That is a way to success. Will tremendous perseverance. I will drain the ocean says the persevering soul. At my will mountains will crumble up. Have the sort of energy, the sort of will. Work hard and you will reach the goal. Another most important stars move from the sphere. Let the whole world stand against us. Feel that you are great and you become great. Whatever you see on your own shoulders and know that you are the creator of your own destiny. All he said that the honor shown to him was the honor shown to the ideals the country had held here from time immemorial. Therefore, today... So much, thank you so much indeed for reading out the text from Swamiji. And this text has been selected by none other than Premier Swami Udhamayanan Ji Maharaj. Initial period, those who can't follow my instructions, who are not ready to follow, for the next 15 minutes, now itself you can leave. Because meditation session is mostly practical, right? So what I say, my instructions should be followed word to word. Alright? Agreed? Alright. I, I just need the lights to be off.
you have done the physical exercises. In, in yoga, we have these asanas, then comes pranayama, etc. Till dharana, dhyana. So we are in the process of dhyana, jumping several steps. Meditation is basically the concentration of your thought on a single object. Mind is always dissipated, just scattered in thousand different directions. Now the question comes, you are a monk, you think of God, I am a student. What is my relevance here doing meditation? Naturally, right? Do you seek peace in your life? Do you seek harmony? Do you want happiness? Do you want to have a stable mind? Do you want to have, do you want to score good marks in your examination? You can see for yourself, you sit in front of your book, you will not be able to concentrate. Right? You try for yourself. You must have encountered it, most of you. <coughs> Swami Vivekananda says, 90% of our energy, the thought pros, the, the mental force, is frittered away, it's wasted. Because either we think of the past, or we think of the future. We don't live in the present. Instructions. You will listen to me and you will follow word to word. Uh, can you please show the screen? Yes, I just want all of you. We can't square. You all sit like that, one hand above the other. This is Swami Vivekananda's meditative pose, famous pose. We will all have to sit straight and I will start with instructions. Okay, one more point. That means basically light. Then you have got the sound on some mantra. Then you have got the breath, the life force that you have. Second image, please. We shall see that there is a light. Second image, please. And just stop there. Okay. Lights on the street as well. Switch off this. Okay. Now the instructions begin. Remove your spectacles, if you all have, if some of you have. Relax your body, relax your mind. Do not entertain any thoughts. You forget your school. For did your family? You forget all the troubles, all the miseries. Forget all the disturbances. Live in the present. Don't think of the past. Don't brood over the past actions. Observe your breath. All your mind energies should be concentrated on one single object that is your breath. Concentrate at the entrance of your nostrils, no imagination, simply observing your breath. At the entrance of your nostrils,
Breathe in slowly. The regular breathing. Observe where the air is touching, somewhere at the entrance or on your upper lip. When you breathe in and breathe out, absolutely no physical movement. No other thought. Except for observing your breath. Your mind may wander, which is very natural. Do not worry, you bring it back. Bring it on your breath. If you are breathing from your left nostril, let it be. If you are breathing from your right nostril, be it. Just be alert. You should be like a statue. Imagine the light at the center of your heart. The light that is pure. The light that removes misery.
sent compassionate feelings in all the directions. May all be happy. May all be peaceful. May none be subject to misery. May all be free from diseases. You can slowly open your eyes gently. Lights, please.